Blender is an incredible tool, but it's intimidating to get started with it at first. Today, I'm going to go through making a stone house with you, a beautiful, lovely stone house. This is for beginners and people kind of just dabbling with Blender. It's a, a perfect, straightforward project, and I'll walk you through it step by step. So let's get started. I'm going to hit General. And the first thing I do, and I recommend you do, I always forget to save it. So I start out by hitting File, Save As. I always put my name and stuff. So I'm just going to do, just in case others are on the computer, Kaiser and Hut. Why? Because it's a Hut, and I'm Kurt Kaiser. Save as a Blender file. There we are. So if you're in the right spot, you will oh, notice that my uh, mouse clicks and keyboard clicks are down there just for clarity's sake. If you're in the right spot, you'll see this square. We want to make this square into something that looks a whole lot more like a stone. To do that, we're going to go to object mode and then we're going to go to edit mode. And now that we are in edit mode, we want to select all the sides. Okay. And voila, they are selected. So now that they're selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit control on a Windows computer, it's Command on a Mac, Control B. And once I do so, oops, I held down B so it tells you how long. Once I do so, I'm gonna pull this, Wah! we can do crazy stuff, right? But I just want it more of a stone shape. That looks good to me. And I'll click down, okay? Now that we have one stone, I'm gonna click on this to get the surfaces. I'm now gonna click the letter A. A will select everything. And next up, I'm going to hit Shift and D. That will duplicate it. But first, I want to make sure that I keep it on the X axis. So if you click the letter X, it will tie it to the X axis. And that looks good. I'm going to change the perspective to make sure. Oh, I want to move it over a bit. So I'm just going to click here and push it back just a bit. And that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and go to wireframe. Okay. And in wireframe, I'm going to use the selector tool. And I want to, I'm going to click over here, just get, oops, these guys. Okay. Once I do have them, I'm going to hit G, which is grab. And I'm just going to pull this out some, maybe like that and click okay and then if you're curious what it looks like i'll go back here and put up we now have a different size brick or stone shape woohoo <laughs> okay and let's go back to this all right so houses are large instead of making each of these bricks individually i'm actually going to hit a which selects all i'm now going to hit shift d which is duplicate. I want to hit X because we're going to keep it on the X axis and something like this. Okay. And I'm going to click off. How is that looking? That looks pretty good. Maybe I want a different size. Maybe I want even more variety of bricks. To do so, I'm going to go back to wireframe. I am going to select, I totally missed them. Oh, maybe not. Nope. I'm going to select these three points. There we are. I'm going to hit the letter G again, and I'm going to push this forward some. This just gives us variety for stone, like stone actually is. And select these three and G again, maybe like that. Okay and 3D. You can look at it from a few different perspectives here. That I think is looking excellent. All right, now, now that we have a bunch of different size bricks, I'm gonna select all of them by hitting A. Okay, select it all. I'm now gonna shift D, and you guessed it, I'm gonna hit the letter X. Okay, and that looks good, okay. And so the next step is going to be to copy it again, shift D. And here's my copy. I'm going to go ahead and put it right about here and let go. And then I'm going to rotate it because this is going to be, whoops, wrong thing. If you ever need to undo, edit, undo. Okay. I need to grab 
rotate select item. I need to grab the blue area is what I was attempting to do. I'm going to let go. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this over, over, over onto the Y axis, basically. Just like that. So if we take a look, And that looks good to me. Let's see, I could move it back a little bit more, so I will, so they're not perfectly touching. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the selection box. Well, I can just hit A again, it's a better way to do it, then Shift D for duplication. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click, and rotate. Because now we have a complete outside structure. I'm going to let go. Let's go to move. And position it something like that is great. Awesome. Let's go ahead and look at it from a few different points of view. So we have the outline, you could say, of our stone house. Great. So the next step, let's go ahead and go to this view. If you hold down, I'm holding the mouse down to move. All right, would be, and that's the flip side. All right, the next step is going to be to make um, several layers of bricks, right? Several layers of stone. So I'm going to hit a, and actually I should probably be, let's think about this. Let's go to this view and I'm going to move over where the X view. All right, that's great. And now I'm going to hit shift D. Okay. And I'm going to hit the letter Z because I want this on the Z axis and just on top. Perfect. That looks good to me. I'm now going to hit A, which selects all. I'm going to hit Shift D for duplicate. I'm going to hit Z to keep it up. And something like that, maybe. Okay. And then depending on how big you want to go, I could still do one more time. Maybe A, Shift D, pull it up. I'm going to hit the letter Z. And... Maybe it's a really big house, right? Great. One last step. Oh, well, we can take a look. It is, I'm going to zoom out with the scroll wheel. It's a really big house. A house needs a roof. I'm going to click on Z here and select these tiles, hopefully. Great. Now that I have these selected, I'm going to, for a roof, pick the scale tool and drag out maybe in a tiny bit. Let's move them around some. So not quite. And move it around some. See what we got. Bit. Uh, let's make it just a bit wider, taller, and push it. We're going to push it back a bit because not all of our shapes are solid, but we got a rough roof as well. Okay, I know simplistic, we can certainly add textures and do a lot of fancy things, but ta-da, a stone hut.